anybody here uh, uh, doing any web development? Uh, please ra raise your hands. Okay. Has, has anybody been using uh, a pyramid? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Flask. Flask. I've, I've used Flask. Okay. Uh, Django. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is a new uh, web framework. It's called the Web Sauna. And uh, it's, it's in a many ways it's uh, similar to uh, in a philosophy to a channel. Like it gives you uh, everything included to get your uh, first site out. So when you install it, you will get the uh, default uh, theme based on the bootstrap. You will also get an admin interface like in Django, so you don't need to uh, write all of those forms by hand. And uh, it also uh, gives you a... Uh, you make this font bigger. Yeah. Go to uh, yeah. 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 There's a lot of space <laughs> over here if you want to call. And uh, it also comes with a very, uh, very comprehensive documentation. And it, it's using a Python 3 feature called uh, type hinting. So you will always know what's going in and out on function, and that actually makes the, both the documentation and reading the code much, much more easier. And you, uh, if you uh, Yes, even I uh, also this animation. So here is an uh, not this one, here one. So how it works that if you are typing the code, it actually uh, gives you a very powerful uh, auto completion, and you just need to hit the first letter and then tap, 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 and it will write the code for you. Is that Python? Yeah. Does it work on Python too? Is it just Python three only? Uh, it's it's Python three. 3.4 pools, so uh, mm -hmm. I don't support any things which were written before my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of car you drive? Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm 35 years old. <laughs> so uh, let's give it a spin. So uh, here is the website. Now it, it's actually it's it's the one to one uh, uh, clone from the Django tutorial, so it makes you a question site. You can choose the make a questions and ha have answers. So if a question is the best food of the all time and choices are Kaiturinia and the test, so we choose Kaiturinia. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we can vote again, and you can see there's a logo, there's a phone tab, and it has a bootstrap stuff, and uh, we also get the lock locking form. And here's the admin interface. So it comes from your SQL Alchemy model, so you don't need to write these interfaces yourself. And we have a que one question here. You can see that, okay, this is the question. And here we have the choices we have for the question. And the one uh, very powerful feature of this is that uh, it has an integrated uh, IPython notebook, so if you like to use Python shell, we actually have a shell button on not only just like for the admin interface, but for every uh, single model in the database. So if you click shell here, that uh, does some crunch, 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 and it opens you uh, like an inline shell here, and you can uh, explore your uh, uh, data right from that iPython notebook. And if you are doing things like a data analysis or uh, whatever those guys who are making a lot of money do, they can use this feature and they will so like it. Sort, sort of like the debug toolbar. Yeah, yeah. Course, except it's it's yeah. So, so we can actually just go here and do it in li inline changes. We have a new fluid, it's called uh, Finlandia Vodka. If you put it there. Very nice definition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a <laughs> Go there, nothing goes. <laughs> and we, we commit the transaction, and now, now we go back here, yeah, let me read it, and boom, it's there. Nice. Can you, just out of curiosity, can you do that again? After you commit, can you, can do um, all the SQL Alchemy models, uh, are they detached at that point? Oh, it, it, it actually I haven't tested, we will find it. I mean, I don't, I was just curious, not. Yeah, so let's go something else. I, I would assume that they are detached because that's the default behavior and I have not changed it. 
So it would give an exception. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I was just curious. In SQL Alchemy, if you commit, it means that all the ob objects in your process are detached, and you, because they are now in the database and they are not valid anymore, so it, it doesn't allow you to access them anymore, which is the proper behavior. How do you how do you recover like how do you recover from that? Okay, in so uh, in in the tutorial I'm doing it like this. So uh, I'll do the DB session query. Uh, choice. So I'll, I'll just uh, get it again from the machine. Okay. So you just you, you have yeah, to query. Like, yeah. You have to issue, issue another query. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and uh, now it should be valid again, like if you go there. Yeah. It's there. Mm -hmm. And other cool features we have here, as you told, I have the documentation. It comes with the uh, tutorial, which goes through uh, everything you need to know. And it also covers the part of the pyramid, like how do you uh, uh, create your first view. So you can go here and uh, it, it discusses about the tutorials, how you are this parts and stuff like that. Did you uh, have your plans to write any um, scaffold templates or anything? Yeah, it, it comes with uh, uh, two scaffolds. One is called app, which is your kind of if you are the, your main website, and the other one is called add-on. So it has kind of add-on mechanism similar to a Django, okay. but it's actually uh, made properly, so it doesn't give you headache all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Does it config include thing? Yeah. So and it, yeah. So you explicitly say that I want to include this at the now and now and now, and it doesn't just like to pull them from somewhere and crash. <laughs> uh, it also has uh, integrated federal authentication. So instead of giving this uh, super uh, uncool, please give your e email and verify it form. You can actually have a. Uh, Facebook login, uh, Google login, and GitHub login out of the box because I know that people, the password, giving your email and password is the thing people hate. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Make sure that your Facebook and Google are the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you have an example of a kind of complicated uh, auto generated form or anywhere around? Maybe oh, on the website? oh, yeah. Uh, let me. Oh, no, I just uh -oh. can't do it. Uh, yes, I, I can. Uh, I can. I can show you something. Uh, let me switch my browser. Excuse me, all the phone taps that are <laughs> I'm sprinting here. So uh, uh, this is a store I did some a uh, long time ago. It's selling cannabis in San Francisco. Yeah, and you can see you get the Facebook login, you get the Bristol doctor login, which is kind of. Uh, Healthcare service, and you get also phone number login and email login. So for you, and I'm using the Facebook here. So let's hope it works. Yes, I'm in. Here is my admin. Here is my dashboard. And for example, uh, let me check where it's uh, where it's a very complicated form. Let's let's grab some users here. So this is a user here. We get all of them. And uh, here we have some more more complicated forms like a create order. It's using our D form here. I guess yeah. And it's it's kind of I would say it's complicated. Yeah. So and that is that generated from uh, that has to be generated from Colin though, obviously at some point. Yeah. So uh, you there's uh, three modes you can uh, like do full out from SQL Academy model, which gives you the, the somebody called Buckley form. And then, it, then you have a. Uh, actually, I can I can show you from the uh, documentation that you can you can mix and match so you can take uh, something that's auto and something that's uh, handwritten. So, for example, here in the admin we have an add view example, and uh, here is the form. So you in includes you give the either the name of the field. Or uh, Colander uh, okay. Simanor, which defines the field, and that's how you can control which fields will be there and uh, what kind of features they will, they will have. How much how much code is it to generate Colander schemes from from the SQL? Uh, it's a shitload. 
Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> it's not. It's super super com complicated uh -huh. because there are so many com uh, corner cases which you keep crashing all the time. Yeah. But I, I managed to do it so it works for the default users and groups and some very basic examples. Also, uh, what is the fit, uh, half of the story? I don't give a demo for it now, but you will see the animation because the animations are cool. Is that it comes with the uh, Ansible playbook and basically it's a one click deployment, so you give it uh, your uh, Git repository address, then you give it uh, SSH address that this is my server, and that those are like the two, two only in inputs you need, and it goes to server and it will set up your, uh, for your NKINX, uh, Uwiski, your uh, uh, Whiskey application, outgoing email, firewall, uh, different users and privilege separations, SSH agents and a uh, lot of stuff. Right. So it's kind of uh, a pro setup out of the box. Does it, does it require like Ubuntu 14.04 or something like Yeah, it's, it's at the moment it's, it's using the only, uh, I have been testing it only uh, Ubuntu 14.04, mm -hmm. but uh, it's, I would assume it's easy to expand to other uh, Debian based things. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and uh, my, my name is Mikko. Hey, hey, camera. Hey, people there. <laughs> I hope uh, I, I, you, you guys missed the PyCon, but I can recommend uh, there is a new conference coming in the United States. It's called uh, uh, BloneConf, and this year it will be hot, held in uh, Boston, October. And I, I invite you all to come to there to see my full presentation and uh, drink a lot of beer with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right.